Hey, welcome back everyone. So this is a follow-up to a previous video which introduced the notion of an exact differential equation. And recall that in that video, uh, well, we gave this general form for an exact differential equation, which satisfied this property that the partial derivative of this component a is equal to, with respect to y, is, is equal to the partial derivative of b with respect to x. So uh, recall that what the main gist of that video was proving that there exists a potential function such that the gradient of that potential function is this vector field AB. And IE, let's remind ourselves, we also noted that this is equivalent to the notion that, well, this is just equivalent to saying that the partial derivative of x f with respect to x is A, and f sub y is B. So if we plug that into our exact differential equation, and in fact, I'll use the more Leibniz-esque notation. So in other words, partial derivative of f respect to x plus partial derivative of f with respect to y dy dx. Okay, this is equal to zero. And now let's go off on a tiny tangent here. Notice that this is kind of reminiscent of some kind of um, multivariable derivative act acting here. In other words, a chain rule action. So really what's going on here is, well, let's for, let's for example say we want to differentiate our multivariable function f of x, y with respect to x. So what do we have? Well, as it goes with many of these types of differentiation of multivariable functions, we want to split up our, our function into its uh, into its kind of variables. So notice that f is obviously in terms of x and y, but x is dependent on, uh, y is dependent on x here, okay? And so what do we have then? That's because we're taking this derivative y with respect to x here. So it must be dependent on x, right? So I that means that, well, in order to get to x, let me just write this out first, f y. In order to get to x, we just take one partial derivative of f with respect to x. So partial derivative of f with respect to x plus, and then we go to y first, so partial derivative of f with respect to y, but then we have to go to x, and since y is only in terms of x, it's just dy dx. But then this must be zero using this equation here, right? And thus what we have is, by integrating both sides, using the fundamental theorem of calculus, we just get that f of x, y, is equal to some constant c, okay? And that's actually the general solution that we were looking for. Although it's not explicit, although it's not explicit, it is implicitly defined here, okay? So, as, as we expect, we get an entire family of solutions, not one. We discussed that in a previous video, but this is exactly what we wanted. And so now that we have a tool, a sort of constructive proof that reached this goal, we can go on to uh, an example. So I'll clear the board and we'll look at that. Okay, let's take a look at, at this example. But before that, let's maybe take a look at this idea that I highlighted here. So. Uh, just summarizing what we, our work in the past uh, videos, our goal here is to find a potential function f, which in other words satisfies these properties. So, and it's important that we define what a and b are in our example, and we'll look at that in a second. And then we just have this really easy plug and chug method to find the implicit uh, solution, uh, the implicit solution. So in our example here, we just want to let this be a, let this be b, the coefficient of this dy d, of this y prime dy dx term. Uh, this is kind of, I think of our constant coefficient. Um, not really, of course, but you get what I mean. So in other words, before we really continue with every, any, anything, we need to actually check that this is exact. And that is that we need to check that um, a sub y is equal to b sub x. So check, this is a very crucial step, a sub y, that's equal to, let's see, 
um, that's going to be cosine x plus 2x e to the y. Okay, just leaving this piece fixed. Okay, and b sub x is equal to cosine x, the derivative of sine is cosine, plus the derivative of x squared is 2x e to the y. And that's it. So that implies that a to the y, a y equals b x. So that's the condition that needs to be satisfied to check if a differential, a differential equation is exact. Namely, we can continue with our general method here, as highlighted above. So let's see. So maybe we want to construct some equations. So first, let's look at, so we want to solve for this f, right? Let's first consider f, the partial derivative of f with respect to x equals a. What is a? It's just this. Cosine x plus 2x e to the y. Now let's take the, let's integrate both sides with respect to x here to get us f equals, I may, might, be, might want to be specific here, xy equals Let's see what we have. If we integrate cosine with respect to x, we should just get sine, right? y sine x plus, and we'll get x squared over 2, so that 2 will cancel, giving x squared e to the y. And then it's important to note that this isn't just a constant of integration. It's really a function of y, because if we differentiate a function of y if we're uh, if we're differentiating in terms of x, then well that's just going to be zero, right? It's just treated as a constant since we're only varying x. So this is going to be some I like to call k a k uh, k of y. So now the idea here is then that we have this formula for f. Now if we take the partial derivative of that. With respect to y, we have another equation uh, for b so that we can solve for this constant term. So that's the idea. So then if we di differentiate this with respect to y, we get uh, f sub y of x, y is equal to uh, sine x plus x squared e to the y plus k prime y okay and well what do we have f of y is also f uh, partial the derivative with respect to y of f is also b and what's b that's just the following so that's going to be sine x plus x squared to the y minus 1 and now we quickly get that k prime y is equal to, let's see, it's just equal to negative 1, right? If we cancel a bunch of these terms off, we get this nice thing. So if we integrate both sides, now obviously we, we would need to include constant here to be rigorous, but I'm going to leave that off since we're going to have an arbitrary constant here at the end anyway, and we're substituting that in. So we don't really need to worry about that. So differentiating we get k of y is just equal to negative y. Namely, what we're left with here is that I'm just going to replace this with minus y. And so what are our solutions? So souls. They're given implicitly by the following. So f of x, y is equal to c. So what is f of x, y? It's this. So sine y sine x plus x squared e to the y minus y equals some constant. And that is the solution to this example. So in the next couple of videos, uh, we're actually going to talk about something a bit more interesting which involves exact differential equations, but it also involves the idea of integrating factors. And I think it involves some nice, um, some nice manipulations 
that requires some knowledge of separable and different differential equations, etc. So that'll be good practice, and uh, I'll see you then.